Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here we have today is the High Grade Build Divers Gundam Love Phantom. Now what this video is, is a pose video. So what that means is that we're going to be posing this kid in three different ways. Uh, so usually I try and do something more melee, uh, something a little bit stylish, and something more long range, but this one it might be a little bit more unique. Uh, it does have some long range uh, type of weaponry, but it does specialize in more melee combat. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and pose it as I please and you know I hope that some of you can actually take away some of these poses and utilize it not only just for the Gundam love phantom that you may have uh, but also utilize it for other Gundams that you have in your collection so now let's just go ahead and get into the poses And looking at the first pose, I decided to go with a beam sickle utilized weapon for this pose. Uh, I think it's actually pretty dope. I think it's something that you know is very iconic to this mobile suit, and it just has a great aesthetic overall with you know the color scheme, the pink and the black, and then that green just really offsets everything and just really stands out, at least in my opinion. So yeah, I just I wanted this because you know for the fact that it's very iconic and it's a. Uh, Fairly easy to use, but if you don't, you know, kind of get the sweet spot whenever you're equipping it in the hand, it is not going to stay in the exact spot. So other than that, uh, I just I really enjoyed this little uh, weapon for this pose. But you know, let's go ahead and move on to the second pose. And here's the second pose. Uh, so I went with something a little more dynamic with the size on the wings. I actually really like these weapons. I think they're pretty cool. Um, I I do wish that they were probably not size and just regular swords. I think that would have been maybe a little bit better, uh, just because of the fact that the little like joint connection right there where the uh, the sickle piece uh, connects with like almost like the blade that looks like the sword. Um, I, I just don't really like the way that looks. The aesthetic just is not really like that pleasing to the eyes. However, I, you know, it's not too bad. I think with a coat of paint and just kind of like uh, some separation of colors. Uh, so maybe like a little bit more silver uh, for those blades. And then, you know, you go down to the hilt, maybe make that gray. The white piece for the, um, the you know, the handle is not too bad. Uh, but I do firmly believe that maybe the, uh, all the blade parts should probably be silver. I think I just think that would look a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, maybe it might not match the overall um, you know color kind of theme to the kit. But you know, nonetheless, I think you can definitely make it work. So yeah, it's a pretty decent pose. It's a little bit tough to get them in the hands, but perhaps like if, if you just get some putty and put some putty inside the hand. Uh, then you're definitely going to have uh, a little bit of a tighter kind of um, squeeze in there so you can have that friction in order to keep it in any kind of position instead of having it way all the way down and then both of them are just going to be like pointing down the entire time instead of you know a little bit more angular uh, which is something that you're definitely going to want to have if you want some more dynamic poses but nonetheless um, let's go ahead and move on to the third pose And here's the third and final pose. So just utilizing all the long range weaponry it has, uh, just be able to kind of have it in a full burst mode. Uh, I really do enjoy the Strike Noir backpack. That's something I always really enjoy with the Master Grade. I haven't built a high grade of uh, you know of the Strike Noir. Uh, so having this backpack as a like, kind of revamped version is super, super nice and neat, uh, which really gives me hope that maybe they're going to make a uh, high grade revive in the future. I definitely know not in the near future, but in the future nonetheless. Uh, and then also just you know having the free the Strike Freedoms you know side rails. I, I think that's pretty damn cool. Overall, the aesthetic, you know, the art, uh, articulation, everything is going to look 
really, really amazing uh, in this pose. So if this is something that you really like, maybe even go the extra, you know, mile and craft up some, you know, little beam effect parts. Uh, my buddy Arthur, he's done that before, uh, basically using melted plastic, and it looked fantastic for his. Uh, I believe it was, it was the Buster, the Master Grade Buster gun. He used it for so. Um, definitely amazing uh, poses. I, I really enjoyed you know doing this for y'all, and I really hope that you took away something from this, whether it is uh, for this particular model or perhaps for something uh, you know else. Maybe even if it's something for a master grade or even a perfect grade, uh, whatever can apply. But other than that, guys, definitely thank you for watching. Like always, you know, please like this uh, video. Please, you know, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll be sure to see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.